Hello students, welcome to Shorosa's classes. Today we will solve chemistry questions of uh, 2017 over here. And uh, if you need the full courses uh, along with our study materials, please do subscribe us with our channel and uh, you can also contact to the number given below. We will get back to you as soon as possible. Now let's start with the questions. The first question is about consider n particles at temperature T and pressure P volume V and the chemical potential mu having energy E. So the parameters that are kept constant for canonical <coughs> ensembles. Okay. So here an ensemble, what is an ensemble? Let me explain. An ensemble is nothing but a collection of very large number of assemblies. Okay. So collection of a large number of assemblies. So which are independent of each other and microscopically as identical as possible. Remember that as identical as possible. So canonical assemblance ensemble is defined on the collection of a independent assemblies having the same temperature. So they will have the same temperature is very much in So T is going to be constant and volume is going to be constant and number of the system also going to be kept constant. So hence the parameters that are kept constants are n, v and t. So more of a remembering and I also as I've explained what is an n symbol is. It's a good important question although it's a direct short one but you need to get a grip in this kind of questions mainly. Okay now let me proceed to question number two. So what is given for ortho hydrogen okay so for ortho hydrogen the nuclear wave function and the rotational quantum number respectively are so here ortho hydrogen with uh, symmetric nuclear spin wave function can only have you know a rotational wave functions are actually not symmetric they are anti-symmetric with respect to permutation of two portions okay permutation of two portions corresponding to odd value of rotational quantum number now what is rotational quantum number it is actually given by j okay that is if the spins of H2 the hydrogen protons are unpaired forming a triplet state so this is actually the triplet state which is called hydro ortho hydrogen so triplet state of H2 then the even J that is even rotational quantum number J levels do not exist so under these circumstances we can say that the wave function is symmetric and the rotational quantum number has to be a odd number so option b is the correct answer now next is a bit of a numerical type of question we have so here m1 and m2 are the slopes of dp by dt of the solid liquid equilibrium lines in the PD phase diagrams and H2 and CO2 again of water carbon dioxide oxide respectively if V less than 10 ATN then the values of M1 M2 they have asked us to find so here we have to do that the Clausius Clapeyron equation for the solid liquid is dp by dt delta h first here this is called the fusion is actually enthalpy of fusion del h first is denoted as n enthalpy of fusion so and the denominator vl minus vs 
as you know. Now the slope is dv by dt for H2. So for H2 is M1 and for CO2 it is M2. Now here since density of H2 is greater than CO2 hence you can write it here hence V of H2O is smaller than V of CO2 so M1 equal to 1 minus Vs so this thing is negative so M1 less than 0 since solid CO2 can exist in equilibrium with its liquid form only at a very high temperature so temperature has to be too high and uh, pressure is needs to be high so P less than 10 equal to 5.2 atm so from equation this particular structure dp by dt equal to m2 and this is positive so combining these two we can say that option d is correct that is m1 is negative and m2 is positive okay now please let me allow to change the color i'm going to use this time mm. oh, it's blue yeah blue so the a rate constant of reaction is 1.25 into 10 to the power minus 4 mole by L by S okay and if initial concentration of the reactant is 0 0.250 mole per liter then total time in seconds required for the completion of the conversion so here it's again a numerical uh, here the structure is the rate constant k we can write it as 1.25 into 10 to the power minus 4 mole per liter per second okay so the initial concentration of the the initial concentration of a reactant x equal to 0 0.250 mole per liter so all you need is the time so for zero order reaction for zero order reaction x equal to kt or t equal to x by k okay you have already calculated the things all you have to put the value 0 0.250 mole per liter and 1.25 into 10 to the power minus 4 mole per liter per second so after calculating you are getting 2000 seconds so the time in seconds required to complete the conversion is 2000 seconds okay now we proceed to our next question here we have an ideal gas so consider an ideal gas of volume v okay at temperature t and pressure p if the entropy now for the first question entropy again coming if the entropy of the gas is s then the partial derivative equal to what okay if you don't have any issues with the partial derivative you can see our videos so now here let v equal to volume t equal to temperature p equal to pressure and s equal to entropy so from maxwell maxwell so let me rewrite it again Maxwell thermodynamics square this is the thermodynamic square actually it looks like more of a rectangle uh, PT but it's actually a square V S U H G A and the momentum is like this, this, and this is way in this area. So here we can write that plus del P del S V equal to minus del T del V of S. So here we can say that option C is correct. Now we are proceeding to our very next question. 
in this question they have given the wavelength related question now they have given that the wavelength associated with a particle in the one dimensional box now that's interesting of length l is what now n refers to the quantum number so here we have energy related thing so energy in one dimensional box is energy in one dimensional box in 1d box is equal to n square h square by 8 m l square okay and here we can write e equal to h by lambda square and uh, so this is equal to p square by 2m as well and we know lambda equal to h by p so p equal to h by lambda so they are placing these kind of stuff here so we can write m h square by 2m lambda square so e equal to we can write here n square a square by 8 m l square equal to h square by 2 m lambda square okay so here n square by 4 actually 4 l square equal to 1 by lambda square or l square equal to n square lambda square divided by 4 so l equal to n lambda by 4 and lambda equal to 2l by small n hence the wavelength associated with a particle in one dimensional box is actually 2l by n so our answer is the very first option a now we will proceed to the next question now here it is a longer question the dependence rate the dependence of rate constant k on temperature t of a reaction is given by the expression so then the expression is very important here that is ln k equal to minus 500 k plus t plus n okay so the activation energy of the reaction they have asked so uh, according to the given reaction let me write the rea this is the reaction so from here if we just take it as equation 1 and the Arrhenius equation is ln k equal to ln a minus e by rt if we just assume it to be equation number 2 then by comparing equation 1 and 2 we can write e by r equal to 500 k okay so it's actually e a so e a equal to 5000 is 5000 k so 5000 k into r so we will put the value of r here okay so 8.314 joule per kg mole so which is 41,570 per mole. So 41.57 kilojoule per mole. Okay. So here the answer we have to write. So this is 41.57. Okay. In kilojoule per mole and up to two decimal places we have approximated. So we will get it this answer. So now in my forthcoming videos I will be solving many new questions on this part and if you need the full courses please contact us uh, to the number given below and we will get back to you soon and you can also whatsapp us as well if you need it okay and any kind of questions and doubt please give us and we will help you in no time thanks for watching our video hope to see you soon thank you